I want to sing on the road again, but I don't want to get a copyright strike. Congratulations, guys. We got up this morning. We are headed for a weight check at the hospital. So the reason I have to go to the hospital as opposed to just your regular general practitioner, doctor, like the office, is because there's a special scale in the specialty center that I can hold on to and it doesn't affect my weight. So we need to do that because otherwise I can't balance and then we have a problem. Kinda rushing to find a, oops, speed bump. Kinda rushing to find a parking spot. I'll see you guys later. We can't take you into the hospital. They have a thing about that. All right, that noise you hear is mom deconstructing the scooter and putting it in the car. Um, I tried to do a shot of me in the elevator so I could have a thumbnail that looks slightly hospitally, but the elevator was too quick, so I didn't get to finish my statement. Um, but I got a thumbnail of me in the mask, so that'll have to work. Um, I gained like a fraction of a pound. But that's to be expected since my nurse practitioner put my meds up. Is the music on or not? I have no idea. All right, I can I can continue talking. I turned the music off. Um, but I had to do a weight check for my nurse practitioner. Who does my meds? He wants to have a running. Account, account of my weight because sometimes with the meds I'm on they can cause that when it, I'm really tired right now sorry uh, it was funny at camp I couldn't sleep for anything to continue the camp saga I was like sleep waking up at like 3 and 4 in the morning and I thought it was because my they only allowed you to take your meds at 8 o'clock at night, and my med lasts like 8 hours. But it turns out that when I, when I took, so I did an experiment, and it turns out that when you, when you're alone in a room, and you take your meds at 8, you can sleep further. So it turns out that it's my cabin mates that were the problem. A lot of them snored. Sorry guys, you snore. So hopefully I won't need an extra med to stay asleep. That was my problem. Falling asleep was not an issue. Falling asleep, I, I fell asleep as soon as my head hit the pillow. So that's one med I won't have to take, but the next thing I'll probably want is my blood work, which I'm not looking forward to. So that was my adulting. I, t I talked to the nurse all by myself. The not the nurse, the receptionist. Is that what you call it? Receptionist? No, not the med tech, the lady that was checking oh, yes, me in. Receptionist. The receptionist, all by myself, and she was asking me all my personal information. The one thing I did do was when the guy asked me where I was going, I froze. <laughs> so, Mama had to help me with that. So, that's the adulting for, the, for today. I think I'm going to niche down to just the videos that deal with me adulting and helping you guys learn how to adult when you have a disability because that's getting really important at my age, learning how to do these things myself. So. You always need to bring your ID and your card. I remember that. I remember my ID and my card. Well, actually, you remember my ID and card. I have to start remembering my ID and my card. So. I hope you guys are having a really good day. Be kind to each other, and I will see you guys later. Bye.